Hi everyone, this is Jason from Predator Textile. We are specialized in exporting all kinds of silk fabrics. Today, I'm going to do two kinds of experiments to examine your fabric, whether they are 100% silk or fake ones. The first experiment I'm going to do is the burning experiment. And uh, you can see the fabrics here. The first one, 100% cotton satin. 100% polyester pongy, 100% viscose strogit, 100% nylon tule, and 45% uh, silk plus 56% cotton. Here, these three are our running items. This one, 100% silk dupian, 100% silk tule, 100% silk satin. Okay, I'm going to put them down the desks to do the burning experiments one by one. And I think the burning method would be the easiest way to identify whether your fabric is really 100% silk or not. These are our tools that we'll be using. And uh, the first piece of fabric It's 100% uh, silk satin. You can see I put the labels inside and we do the we start do the burning method, burning experiment. We cut a piece of fabrics here. Grab it. And burn it. You can see it cannot burn continuously. This is what we can see first. And you can smell it. The smell is so so bad, it's like um, burning hairs, burning your hairs because silk fabric they are made of um, silk warm yarns and they are pretend, same like your hair. And uh, I put it there, I crush it with my hand, my fingers and you can see it crushes the ashes come down becomes so you know into dust and it's black that's it I put it there okay and uh, the second piece of fabric I will use our 100% silk tule. I put the labels here and uh, I start to cut a piece here. And I burn it. It's more or less the same like uh, like the silk satin. Just that it is easier to burn because it's uh, tule, because uh, you know it's a mesh and it is not very high density, so it burns more continuously. But generally, silk yarns they do not burn continuously. And afterwards, you can see what remains: black. You crush it and it becomes ashes, becomes dust. Okay. Okay, the third one, what I will use is nylon tooling. Okay. This is nylon tule. I put the labels here. I cut a piece. Let's see what will happen for nylon tule. Okay, this is also tule but nylon. Let's see. Oh, I prefer. 
not using my hand because it burns and it hurts. You can see it can be burned. It is it is not burning and it becomes a little bit melted and come down like a drop of water. So this is nylon. And afterwards, you can see they are turning solid. They are no liquid anymore after they drop down. And this is the nylon. Okay. The next piece I would use 100% viscose. Um, in many places, there are different kind of ways calling viscose. Some call it viscose, and uh, other places call it um, rain. Normally, rain is always used uh, spun rain yarn, and viscose are normally used filament yarn. But this is the filament yarn. I put the labels here, and I start bon burning. You know, it burns very easily. Just burns very easily. And you can see what's left. White ashes. And it smells like paper. And it smells like paper. I, there's barely anything here left. So this is the viscous. And the next one I'm using is 100% polyester pungi. I put the labels here and I cut the piece. Starts burn. Oh. It smells very bad. It's just like, um, you know, burning the petrol. Because these polyesters or nylons, they are made of petrol oil. So they're not natural one. So the smell is also very bad. It burns like um, burning plastics. You are plastic, you know, bags or anything like that, or those junks. And afterwards, it, it drops and it becomes solid. And however you crab it, they will not. They are very tough. That is that is very different from silks. Very tough, and it cannot be crushed. Very hard. So that way you can distinguish. Mostly it's about the smell. It smells very bad, like petrol. And our silk is more like burning hair. If you do not know what the smell is, uh, difference is between burning hair and burning petrol, you can just pick out a hair of yours and burn it. Then you can see the differences, you can smell the differences. So the next one I will use would be cotton. This is cotton. And this is cotton satin. They are using very fine yarn with the uh, young count 80 so this is very good quality but you know this is what not what we are selling i put the labels here grab it starts to burn you know cotton can be burned easily too and uh, i'm sorry the labels is burning itself and you can see the ashes are black, the smoke is white, and when you put it down there, these ashes are coming into dust. Barely anything left, and they come into dust. So it's totally from different from those uh, with the uh, silk fabrics, right? I put it there. And it smells like papers too because it's made of cotton. And the last one I'm is okay. The last piece 
it's made of 56% cotton. So it is a uh, um, interwoven atom, silk interwoven atom. So some of the yarn are silk and some of the yarn are cotton. Let's cut and burn and see what will happen, okay? I put the levers here. I will cut a piece. Grab it and burn it. Let's see what will happen. Mm. It smells like um, burning hell. Same, same like um, same, same like 100% uh, silk. But you can see the result of the burning. It's like um, ashes, but it does not curve. That then does not uh, melt into one, so it is not uh, same as silk, but it has the same smell as silk. So it is really hard to identify whether it's one hundred percent silk or how many percentage of it by just burning. Then you may ask, how would we? How can we do with it if there's um, just a certain percentage of silk? It's not one hundred percent silk, maybe. 50% or 30% how are we going to do it then I'm going to tell you the sec second way to examine um, whether your fabric is 100% uh, silk that is chemical way Let let's see the next video please thank you